what was there before that? Hey gang, Arlo here getting ready to hit the road in my Chevy Silverado to find out. And now on what was there before that, part two of our special look at one of the great concert venues ever in Hampton Roads, the Boathouse. It was really loved by the bands because the fans could get up close. A lot of entertainers would come off of the stage, had never come off of a stage, would come off the stage, get in the barricade, jump over the fence, and the crowd would just absorb them and they felt the love. Proving the old adage, timing is everything. The first major national act to perform at the Boathouse was Tina Turner. The guarantee was $7,500, which was a lot of money back then. And uh, so I went ahead, we booked it, and, and the agent said, listen, I've heard the record, the record's great, the guys on the fix are playing on it, fantastic. Of course, what's love got to do with it went to number one, where it's sold out. She comes in and she does the show, she walks off stage, and she walks right up to me, and she looks me in the face, and she says, Bill, now I know why I don't play shit holes like this anymore with Ike, and walked out. Um, it was really embarrassing, but exciting at the same time. The Boathouse celebrated its 20th anniversary in 2003. September 16th of that year, Type O Negative performed. That concert was just two days before Hurricane Isabel. And the crew did what they could to get it ready for the storm. The hurricane was coming, you know, a couple of us went up there early on um, in the day, basically just to make sure that the uh, when you said the hatches were battened down. Days later, they went back to survey the damage. The outside was all aluminum, or the majority of it was aluminum, and it was all just peeled back like a sardine can. There was big holes back in the dressing room area. There were walls that were torn down. It was gonna need a whole lot of um, financial support to come on back. By March of 2004, the actual owner of the boathouse, the city of Norfolk, made the decision not to fix it. And in November of 2011, the boathouse was brought down. I've got a great quote for you from Dee Larian of Live Nation. She summed it up this way. The Boathouse was a staple in Hampton Roads from 1983 to 2003. I grew up there, sold the first and last ticket, and the day I was told it was being torn down, I stayed in the office because I knew I'd be too emotional and I wanted to keep the good memories. Amen, Dee. This is Mike Arlo, and the next time you're out behind Harbor Park and spot what's left of a wharf jutting out into the Elizabeth with that old cracked concrete floor, remember the boathouse. Because that was what was there before that, and this edition was brought to you by your Hampton Road Chevy dealer and the 2014 Silverado. <laughs>